why. <laughs> this is my last video today. You would think with all the videos I've done that I would have had time to do my tutorial preview, but honestly, no, that whole I take a lot of time and thought and effort into my makeup tutorials, so believe me, you know, I don't want you guys to think that I'm just putting it off or this or that, but no, I put a lot of time of going through my makeup um, when I do figure out what look I want to create and what products are best for that and it's not just something that I throw together unless like I've already figured it out you know like way before so um but I think I do wanna um you know I did get the two Lorac palettes I think that I am doing the, uh, you know, the, these Disney um, videos and, you know, I want to do the, you know, the princes, the villains, the flowers, but I should probably also do some looks with the Lorac palettes so that, like I, like I did when I got, you know, the Urban Decay, you know, anytime I get makeup, I usually like to do some type of look with any makeup I get and so after the uh, bell tutorial I, I'm probably gonna do a Lorac palette look and then I'll do another Disney and then another Lorac so um, but I do have more makeup on the way um, guess what I just saw at the front door right literally when I went to go check it. <laughs> they came! <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm like, why couldn't that have been there like when I cut the last one? <laughs> so, so happy. <laughs> now I just hope to the Lord above that I can get them on. Packaging doesn't look much different than assets, but um, thanks. Yep, and they're the thigh high, the same as and they're nude. I always like, oh, these even feel, this feels thinner than, um, I'm gonna have to, I wanna really see how much different. It says here that these are, um, from Spanx.com that these were $58 so I don't know why Kohl's is charging so much for them oh dear god oh my gosh that is so small but so are the other ones this is definitely a thicker material than um, like the legs on the other one are like m not exactly but m more like a legging filling not like a um, like pantyhose but like a legging like that this feels more like cloth and then this this is like really thick this does not have it doesn't feel like it oh no I can see it in there I think um no it's like they have these little plastic little 
bead type things. I'm wondering if that's to like help hold them up. But <sighs> these look pretty tiny. So let's hope you know, it, it, it does say because like I am in between sizes I'm almost at the lower side so I bought the the like the pair that I have now I bought actually kind of almost like a size up because it goes by weight on assets this one goes by dress size according to guilt um, let me look at the package see this just shows your measurements yeah it says see it's extra large is a 14 to 16 and my dress size is a 16 However, my pant size right now is a 17. 18 is way too big. So the next size up would be 18 to 20. Size 18 to 20. So that would be too big and wouldn't really help. So obviously it would be the smarter way to get them would be to get the extra large because I don't want them bigger than I am that doesn't make sense I can own the only literally the only reason I can't wear a 16 pant is because now I'm wearing leggings right now so I'll show you now this is embarrassing but I'm going to show you I'm not going to like show you skin oh I saw a little bit of skin <laughs> this little here I'll stand further back so you guys can see okay so <laughs> this right here this is where my belly is from when I had a cesarean you can kind of see through the leggings here, let me put the leggings up higher um, like up here, it's, you know, this does need some work. I, I was doing, and this is a, tr a, a, a trick, um, when you're watching TV, and I need to start doing it again, um, what they say to do, I saw this on, I think the dis it was a commercial on Discovery Health, during commercials, lay on the couch do sit-ups until the commercials are over and I've lost weight from doing that I have actually lost inches from doing that I, I just stopped because I had had a you know downtime and just haven't started doing it again yes it works and you'd be amazed how many sit-ups you can do in a span of commercials now don't go too crazy because really you shouldn't sit and watch a ton of TV that's what I used to do like because when I clean and do house I um, I have to do it in sections and I have to do it in um, I have to take breaks due to my fibromyalgia because I can overdo it I have overdone it and when I do overdo it that does not help me it only hurts me so every day um, in a normal regular routine I do a room right um, I choose the kitchen we have a very large kitchen it's it's bigger than you know my mom's kitchen and my mom's house is bigger than mine so um it's it's a pretty stinking good sized kitchen not to mention it goes all the way to the front door 
the fluorine. Then we also have, but I keep that for a second day, um, a laundry and a half bath right there. So I, I leave that. That room is the room that gets the most traffic because that room goes out into the garage. So there's like lots of shoes on the ground in there. You know, that's where like our rain boots are, our, you know, my son leaves sneakers in there, you know. It's just, you know, that room gets the most amount of traffic. There is a large rug that we have in there, but so what I do is say I'm doing the kitchen, okay? We have a sink, the, or the, well, the counter and the sink goes in a, like this way, and then there's the bar, you know, where you have bar stools. Then it goes this way where the sink is. Then goes all the way, and then goes like this. You might have my oven, and then I have like right where it's ending the microwave. Okay. Then there's a refrigerator. Then pretend like I just walked out of the kitchen, and I'm walking, and there's a little hall right here. Right here would be the door to the laundry room and half bath. And then like a whole wall, imagine that wall that's right here, that is a pantry. A very, very, very large pantry. Then you keep walking a little bit further and you have the little there's a little bit of area and you have the front door and that's glass and then on the same day I do the kitchen I clean the hallway not only do I vacuum it I if I notice that oh there might be a little spot on the carpet here or there I also clean I have a um I have a handheld and I also have an upright um carpet like cleaner like like a you know, shampooer so that's that's a lot just in one day just for the kitchen um and then like the next day I would either do the laundry room or the um living room like dining and living room and um while i'm doing all that stuff i'm also doing normally doing laundry so what i'll do is when i start my cleaning process and this all has a point trust me so i would do all the sink clean the whole sink wipe it all down, you know, make sure that all the dishes are clean. After I'm done with that, I will sit down normally until I started the blog. Now, during my breaks, I've been using that time to add stuff to blog. So, I would sit down, watch, um, like, I don't do it by minute. I do it by, um, like, I'll watch until there's a commercial, and then I pause it to go, like, so I'm watching, it's almost always on Bravo, so they'll play about a good 10 to 15 minutes of show time. And so I would watch that and then pause it and then um, get up, do something else, say the, um, I've done the, the sink, then I would, you know, vacuum the kitchen floor. Let's just say that. That's probably not my, the step, the next step, but let's just say that. And when I'm doing that, I also vacuum the hallway. So then I would go 
and during when I press play commercials are going to start and during that time I would do sit-ups now I started getting like really crazy where I was actually starting to kind of hurt myself so my because I told my nurse I was doing it and sh and like at one time I had done like 300 like in a day and she's like whoa no <laughs> so like she told me don't ever do more than a hundred in a day but it does work yes I haven't done it in a long time but I just wanted to share that tip with you because it does work and um, I have been out of my routine hopefully by this coming Monday I can get back into my normal routine you know start you know maybe going from doing a little bit of blog during my break because that's usually what I do is I switched from TV to doing some of the blog during a break maybe I'll do blog and then sit-ups so that I can kind of mix so I can start doing those sit-ups again and um, hopefully one day I won't need these anymore <laughs> that's the whole point <laughs> but I wanted to share that tip with you guys um, for you know guys and gals if you want to you know flatten some abs because it did help and then I stopped doing it and got some of that you know weight back so you know and it, it is hard when you do end up getting when I have downtime because you know I feel like oh I did all that and you know now like you know I might gain like a pound or two but still you know it, it kind of makes you feel like oh I did all that work and I gained two pounds but I have to remember that in the end even if it takes you know I know somebody who lost 125 pounds it took her two years to lose all that weight 125 pounds yes she did it the right way she did not have gastric bypass or anything like that she did it the right way by eating right and exercising and lost 125 pounds she did end up needing to get a tummy tuck so that would be another reason that like until I can actually you know possibly yeah, if I lose all my weight because of the cesarean I will probably more than likely need to have a tummy tuck but um, you know I'll wear this until <laughs> I can get that tummy tuck financed or whatever I have to do um, because you know after and she has said this too that it's it, it really kind of stinks because you you lose all that weight and then you have all that excess you know skin from the weight that you lost and you're still not happy with your body so that's why I I really think that because you know people have busted their butt by losing weight I think tummy tucks like not breast augmentations or Botox but tummy tucks especially like if you've had a cesarean like I have I think that that's something that should be covered because having a cesarean and, and they like messed me up pretty badly because they took the staples out wildly early um, that ne doesn't go away it doesn't it, it will never go away without surgery without you know having some form of plastic surgery on your stomach um, 
but I'll, I do um, plan on having a hysterectomy, so maybe they'll like hook me up <laughs> and take everything out and do a dummy duck at the same time. So maybe in my next video tomorrow, because this is it guys, I'm done. <laughs> I shouldn't have anything else coming today. Um, I'll be wearing these and maybe be even a little bit thinner <laughs> than when I wear my assets. Who knows? We'll have to see. <laughs> so I'm super happy. You know, they, yes, look, I mean, they're super stretchy. And I've heard nothing but great things about these. And I love the, the, the ones I have, the assets. And, you know, I'll probably get another pair of those so that I, I don't, you know, I am going to still rotate the three I have. Even though the one pair doesn't work as good as this one will and the other one will. But, um, you know, invest in one to two pairs of the Spanx. Don't pay full price. Either wait till you see them on sale or you know, go to um, one of my website, my websites, go to one of the websites that I put on my blog. And yes, I will put not assets because you can get assets at Target and pretty much any, um, you know, like Walmart. And like Most of those type of stores carry assets. So, but as far as Spanx go, um, I will, you know, hopefully the next time they have them won't be for a while so that I can purchase another pair during that time and then that will be in my monthly, you know, because what I need to start doing is it's just that I have so many websites that I go to, you know, to, to pick one website is very difficult because there's still websites that I haven't even, like, had a chance to buy anything from because I'm, I find new websites and, like, I'm getting websites being thrown at me that I never even signed up for. I got um, an email from Tori Birch today because I'm sure that they see in my inbox, you know, that, you know, if Tori Birch is selling through Holt Look, it's going to recognize that. So I might get an email, like I got one from Kate Spade. So, yes, I still put that on my um, fashion deals, not because, like, it's, like, super cheap, but because I do, this is a fashion and beauty website. Yes, I want to show you guys how to get the best deals. Like, when I do Torrid, I only put the clearance items. Um, I didn't, and like Kate Spade, I believe I only put clearance items on for that too. For the, the Tory Burch I put out today, I did not see a clearance section, so I wasn't able to put up clearance items, so I just kind of went through the little categories and like picked what I thought was kind of cute and put it up on the, um, on the blog. So, um, but keep an eye on the blog. Keep an eye on videos because I'll let you know um, if, you know, hey, this place has Sphinx. Or, you know, for those of you who are looking for Sphinx for, you know, cheaper prices. So, that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much. Um, thank you to all my viewers. Please subscribe um, to the YouTube channel. Thank you to my new subscriber, and um, thank you to all my new subscribers on Tumblr for FabGab. 
and just keep watching and yes it's going to slow down but I will continue you know except for times like this when I can't um, my weekly day-to-day -day, you know things I do my makeup collection my handbag collection and stuff like that you don't have to worry about me stopping until I run out of makeup <laughs> but anytime I get new new makeup you guys will see that too so have a great one um, tomorrow is Saturday so I hope you guys have a great start to your weekend and I hope that the sun is out wherever you are so sun's out here obviously have a great and wonderful weekend and have a fantastic day. Love you all and have a good one. Thanks, guys. Bye.